machine, and I'm going to show you how to program it on the controller. So, uh, call it the cursor. Menu escape or cursor. The flashing editor shows up. You choose a program. Plus or minus keys. Say number four. To select that program, I confirm it by hitting enter. Now, I simply hit cursor once, cursor twice. Goes to the middle column. This is an arbitrary value. Uh, it's a working value, so I'm going to put in about 30 millimeter here. 30 anything. Stop. I'm going to hit enter to store that value. Now I'm simply going to go back to my cursor once, twice, three times. Now this right hand column is the descent value. Each time you come in, but descend, this is the amount it drops. So I'm going to put uh, for this angle two and a half uh, quarter leg out. I'm going to roll about seven. It should be a pretty good hit on this angle. So to confirm it, or put it in the control, I have to hit enter. Okay, so, uh, again, program four, 32, six, and seven. And to get out of the loop of the programmer, I just hit enter. Now, this is all done after you would stage your material in the tooling. Okay, C70, uh, we have two and a half angle iron leg out and it's quarter wall. Now on the machine we have put the conical washers right and left and then we stage the lower two spindles uh, with the supplied two larger diameter spacers on the shafts first. That's to support the back side of your angle and allow it and it's on the shaft first piece to allow the correctors to have reach in and out. And then the bottom is just flat staged. Now the top what we call saddle grip. It allows the U-shape to grab over the channel and actually make the bend. Uh, from there it goes to programming and we stage right and left. Okay. After you program the controller, the values are input and saved. We're going to find the work, top surface of the work. Uh, we're going to manually run the machine. So I'm going to choose up and I'm going to take the machine up by depressing the pedal. And then, now, I'm going to come down and touch the top of the work with the tooling. Right there. Now, I'm going to continue to I release the pedal, hold the down, hit enter. And that stores top of work, all zeros in the right column. Now, my next thing, I'm going to raise it up for an unload. Arbitrary position. Hold the arrow up, or the cursor up. Joystick and hit enter. It will flash twice and store the distance between where I told the machine top of work, our starting zero, and where I have it now. Now to prove that, I'll just tell the machine to go down, the symbols change, and I step on the pedal. The center roll will come down to where I told the machine zero. From here I'm ready to roll. I'll stage it right or left, and then our other data is in. Kill it. All right, roll a piece now. Seven mil that I put earlier, and it's going to roll. That easy. Stop it. Yeah, so that seven mil drop, and you can see the angle kind of uh, roll or take tip back in. That's where your conicals come in. So I'm going to choose left conical and bring it down. What's going on? Left conical down, the forced angle out on the surface, the tapered surface of the roller. Correct it so it's straight, and then I'm going to continue to roll. Now your angle should be in the straight plane uh, as the section comes through. And it's pretty decent right now. now. Keep in mind, you can't roll material out of the tool group. You have to stop. You're watching all the time. Stop it at the uh, end of the piece, center line of the tool. Um, the command to drop, so I'm going to tell the machine down, enter, 
Roll right and pedal. That's another seven. Now I have to correct the other washer. Go over here and take a look. It's coming in slightly, so I'm going to bump the right conical out just a little bit. Right there. Okay. Still arcing back, so I'm going to bring my conical down a little more. Keep in mind, you cannot let the material run out of the roll. You have to be watching. I'm going to stop it on the center line very close. And I'm going to repeat the process. Down, enter, and roll left. And it's going to take another 7 mil. Once it's uh, past the dead leg or the center distance of the lower spindles, you can make your correction on your washer. Uh, I'm going to have to move that one <coughs> up a little bit. It's too far out. You can do it when you're doing it too. The eight foot stick takes a short time to get a half turn. That's three passes, one more pass, and I'll be happy. 